Hi guys and welcome back, let's have a look at the permissions of the files and directories. If you look at the first column, you will see some dashes with some letters like R, W and X. If it start with dash mean it's a file and D letter refer to a directory. Use chmod to change the mode of the file or directory. Using 777 will give full permission of the file to read, write, and execute for the owner, group and other users. 644, 6 will change permission for the owner to read and write, 4 to read for the group, and last 2 for read permission to others. Let's change the permission for the directory and see if the file inside is affected by the change or not. As you see only the directory permission is changed. To apply the permission change for the directory and sub-directories, use the hyphen R option with chmod. Let's change the permission using letters not numbers. G to represent the group. O to represent other user. U to represent the owner. Note that the first three letters represent the permission for the owner of the file or directory, second three letters for the group and the last three letters for other users. chmod group and other give them execute permission by using plus operator. Using minus operator will revoke execute permission. This will give the group, other users, and the owner execute permission. You can read the materials for better understanding. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.